as with all our defense partners, sales will need to still meet strict requirements, including those related to human rights. But this change will ensure that Vietnam has access to the equipment it needs to defend itself and removes a lingering vestige of the Cold War. Vietnam, it is an interesting country that we have begun to learn much about here on FTD Facts. It is a place that has a lot going for it, and it is currently a fascinating country which many people visit, not just for its beaches and cultures and landscapes, but because of its zenness, it attracts people from all around the world, and not just Southeast Asia. But today, we are looking at the power of Vietnam, and more specifically, its power within its military. Hey everybody, what's going on? Dave Welp here and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about a lot of people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, for this video, we've been talking a lot about military powers of certain countries. We've done India, we've done Pakistan, we've even done the United States and North Korea. And those are videos you might want to check out as well, they're going to be in the description box below. But for this video, we're going to look at Vietnam and see what it has to offer. Just to remind you guys, this video is brought to you by Grammarly.com, they are great software that helps your English, and I'll talk about that more later. But but today we are looking at the People's Army of Vietnam. Now it was founded on December 22nd of 1944, which was originally conceptualized by Ho Chi Minh in September of 44 at the Revolutionary Party Military Conference. And the reason it was created is because the Vietnamese really wanted to push out the French forces and of course the Japanese forces, they didn't want them in the country. Now the original military was only made up of 31 men and believe it or not there were actually even three women who were part of this original group. Now at that time they were only simply armed with three revolvers, 17 rifles, and one light machine gun, and as well as other equipment. And I find it amazing that this whole military pretty much started only because of 31 people. You don't really hear about that. You hear of governments saying, okay, well we should just get a whole platoon of guys together and we should just go and fight the enemy. And although we are dipping into a little bit of history before talking about its forces today, but that is going to be covered in this video. Because on July 7th of 1947, they managed to get their first regiment called the 102nd Capital Regiment, operating around Hanoi. And then two years later, they had their first division, known as the 308th Division, or simply the Pioneer Division, because they were the pioneers of all divisions for Vietnam. And since then, it's collected its forces and grown throughout the years to become what is known as today as the People's Army of Vietnam. Now before we get into all the numbers, let's talk about how their military is divided up. Firstly, their commander in chief, just like other countries, is the president of the country, and that currently goes to the current president of Vietnam, which is Tran Dai Quan. Now they've got five different divisions that spreads across the ground forces of Vietnam, the Navy, the Air Force, the Border Defense Force, and even the Coast Guard. And within those, there are many different divisions, such as technical, logistical, and military intelligence. And as of 2016, Vietnam spends about $4.6 billion on its military, which was $3 billion more than it was last stated in 2005, and in today's world, 2017, they estimate that it's somewhere probably around $5 billion. And speaking of today's world, the population of Vietnam equals over 95 million people, with its military sitting at approximately 5,448,000 people. And currently, they estimate that there is 412,000 to under 500,000 of them being active ground forces, with the rest being reserve units, equaling roughly 3 4 million part-time soldiers. And these soldiers are of course stretched out over seven different districts. And within that they have four core headquarters and in 2016 they estimated that there was 23 active infantry divisions with nine in reserve, 13 artillery divisions, 11 air brigades, one special forces airborne, six armored brigades, and three armored regiments, and one electronic warfare unit, and much more. Now when it comes to their forces we should probably talk about their armor division because when it comes to their tanks and armored forces most of their stuff since 1986 has come from Russia however back in 2016 Barack Obama lifted a lethal weapons embargo that was put on Vietnam so Vietnam could modernize its military and the reason for this is so that Vietnam could buy weapons from other countries such as the United States but as for the armored divisions in Vietnam they have great interest in the Russian T-90 tanks simply because they're more modernized and currently Currently they have 64 either delivered or on delivery from Russia. And it has been known that Vietnam has used and is currently using 
120 T62 tanks and approximately 850 T54 slash T55 tanks and even 315 T59 tanks as their main battle tank. Overall, they estimate that they have about 1,545 combat tanks with 3,150 armored fighting vehicles, 2,200 towed artillery, and of course approximately 524 self-propelled and 1,100 rocket projectors. On top of that, it is known that there is approximately 24 tactical SSI Scud missile launchers and at least 32 S3 Akatsia self-propelled artillery guns. Whew, that was not easy to say, I'm not gonna lie. Now as for its air force, it has approximately 16 air bases and 9 of these are considered fighter regiments. Overall, it is estimated that there is approximately 278 fighter craft, 76 of these craft being fighters, 73 attack fighters, 161 transport vehicles, 137 helicopters, and 25 attack helicopters. Now, 36 of the fighters are Sukhoi Su-22 Soviet Union fighter bombers, as well as 40 with six on order Suko Su-30s, which are also multi-role fighters from Russia. On top of that, they have 87 mil Mi 8s and 25 mil Mi 24s, which are of course other craft from Russia as well. And that's just a general idea of what they have for their main forces because they got a lot others as well, but for now let's move on to their navy. Now the navy is in charge of defense for its waters and multiple islands, and believe it or not, when it comes to the history of Vietnam, they've been known to have fought on the sea as far as the first millennium BC. But currently there is five regional commands and they approximately have 65 known navy craft. And to break it all down, let's take a look at submarines first, which they know six of them are Russian improved Kilo class submarines that run off diesel and electricity and have been delivered to the country. They also have seven frigates with their two main variants being the Jeopard 3.9 class and of course the Russian Petya class. Including in all this Navy craft, there is 14 Corvettes and over 25 patrol boats with as well multiple transport vehicles, amphibious vehicles, and a ton of anti-ship missile defense platforms that are all around the country. And as well, they estimate that there's approximately 50,000 military personnel in the Vietnam Navy. And last but not least, let's talk about the Coast Guard because sometimes the Coast Guard is usually left out in these matters because it's not really an offensive force, it's more of a defensive force that is usually meant for search and rescue and things of that nature. And just like most Coast Guard forces, they are in charge of not just defensive forces, but aim to stop drug smuggling, human trafficking, terrorism, and other things of that nature. But a majority of their fleet is TT-100s and TT-200s. And if you look at the Coast Guard division, one thing that they have that the others don't is that most of their craft is made by Vietnamese builders. Overall, they have 49 patrol boats, six transport vehicles, five salvage tugs and four search and rescue ships. So no matter what a person's job is in the Vietnamese forces, they are aimed to protect not just the country's interest, but also the lives that are within the country. Guys, my name is Dave Wapple, and I really want to thank you guys for tuning in and learning about Vietnam just a little bit more. And keep in mind, guys, if you guys have an idea for another future FTD Facts video, just let us know down there in the comment section below. Also, if you guys really like this video and you want to check out some other videos, like check out our video on the power of the United States. That was a really cool video. You'd be surprised at how many numbers they actually have. But we have done other countries as well. They'll be down there in the description box below and of course at the end of this video as well. Also guys, before we get out of here, letting you know about Grammarly.com. These guys are our sponsor and they have a great program online to help you guys improve on your grammar. Trust me guys, I use it here all the time on FTD Facts and it is really handy, especially when it comes to making emails as well. It's really good to improve your grammar and it's free. So go check it out down there in the description box below. So either way guys, that is us looking at Vietnam and this country may have a smaller army and smaller Navy and Air Force compared to other countries around the world. But one thing that we have learned about Vietnam through its history and in general is that you should never underestimate their desire and will to salute, serve, and above all, protect. Thanks for watching guys, this is FTD Facts, the channel where we talk about people, cultures, and places from all around the world. Now, did you like this video? Do you want to learn about other military powers? Well, check out this video right here on another country's power and what they have for a military. Also, if you just like learning about Vietnam and you want to learn more about it, check out our Vietnam videos as well. But other than that guys, leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video and we will get right on it. Until then, we will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.